Welcome to Getting Started with Mono Touch. This screencast will demonstrate the installation of Mono, Mono Touch, and Mono Develop, as well as the implementation of a simple Hello World application. So, let's dive right in and install this exciting new framework. First thing you want to do is head over to the MonoTouch website at monotouch.net and click on the orange Get MonoTouch button. This will take you to the MonoTouch store, which has a description of the three different types of licenses and the prices for them. For now, we're only concerned with installing an evaluation version, so we won't go into the details of the licenses. For now, click on Installation Instructions. This will take you to the installation page. The first thing that we'll see when we get here is that there's a lot of red text telling us to make sure that we install Mono before installing Mono Touch. This is very important as not doing this step in this order could result in problems. So let's satisfy that first by clicking on Mono. What you want to do here is click Mac OS X and then select Intel from the list of downloads that are available. When this disk image is done downloading, open it up, you'll find a package. Double click on this package and install the Mono Framework. Once the Mono Framework is finished installing, you can head back over to the installation page. Now that we've satisfied the requirement of installing Mono first before anything else, we can click on the Download Evaluation Version link underneath the Mono Touch SDK installation section. In here, what we'll find is an installation quick start. If you already have Apple's iPhone SDK installed, you can proceed to the next step. If not, head over to Apple's iPhone Dev Center and install the SDK and toolset from that page. Since there's detailed instructions over there on how to do that, I'm not going to go into them here. The next step is to install Mono Develop. Click on the Mono Develop for OS. 10 link and you'll be taken to a page with a link to the mono develop disk image. Click on this and when it's finished downloading, open it. What you'll see is the mono develop icon and the applications folder. Simply drag mono develop to the applications folder and drop it. This will install mono develop. Now that we have mono develop for mono touch installed, there's only one step left and that's to actually install Mono Touch. If we go back to the down your download evaluation page, you'll find at the bottom a email box where you need to put in your email to download the Mono Touch SDK. If you punch in your email here, by the way this is my email address if you need to contact me, and click on download, you'll get a download for the Mono Touch eval package and much like the Mono package when you're finished downloading this just double click on it and it will install Mono Touch. I'm not going to show that here it's pretty straightforward but once that's installed we're ready to get started. Let's take a quick look at the iPhone application that we will be creating in this tutorial. What we have is a UI button with the text tap to say hello. When we click on this button, some text will appear that says hello iPhone. That's basically all we're going to implement in this tutorial. It's simple and it will help you get started. Uh, future screencasts will go into more detail about some of the more advanced controls, but the aim of this is just to get you started and on your way with MonoTouch iPhone development. First thing you'll need to do is to launch the Mono Develop IDE. You can find this in your Applications folder in the Finder. Basically, just double click on this and it will launch you into the Mono Develop IDE. Once you're here, you'll need to create a new iPhone application. So, from the File menu, choose New Solution. In the New Solution window, Underneath C-sharp, there's an iPhone category, and inside of there, there's an iPhone Mono Touch project. Select this, and in the name, we're going to name our project Hello iPhone. 
click on the forward button and then the OK button. This will create your iPhone solution. Now that we've created our Hello iPhone solution, let's take a look at what it contains. The first node is a Hello iPhone C Sharp project. If we expand that, we'll see a references folder, main.cs, and mainwindow.xib. References contains the MonoTouch DLL and some of the Mono DLLs. Main.cs contains the application class and the app delegate for our application, and mainwindow.xib is an interface builder class that will contain the layout for our interface. Let's start with a look at main.cs. As I mentioned, there are two classes in this file. Application represents the application that we are developing. Main method is the entry point for this application, and it calls uiapplication.main. This will launch our application. When our application is finished launching, it will call a method on its delegate, which is our app delegate class, called finished launching. The line that will launch our UI is window.makeKeyInvisible. Window is an outlet. We'll talk about what that means in a second, but is an outlet on app delegate that represents the window for our application. iPhone applications contain one window and one or more subviews within that window. Let's take a look at mainwindow.xib. If we expand mainwindow.xib, we'll see that there's actually two files in play. There's mainwindow.xib, which is an interface builder nib file. Interface Builder is a tool provided by the Apple Development Kit that allows us to lay out our UI and instantiate objects such as our app delegate, the window, the button, the label, and in more advanced applications, tab controllers, view controllers, and other more complex controls. We're able to connect those views such as buttons and labels to what are called outlets. An outlet essentially allows an object that was created in Interface Builder to be referred to from code using a variable name. So let's take a look at this main window dot nib.